All right, then, then uh, let's position, position this picture uh, on the here. Picture in the mirror of the right side of page one. So okay, once in order to do this, let's uh, click the crop. Click crop. So we have a image that is cropped already. Okay, in order to change the location of this picture, you can align. Click the align, the align arrow. Then here it is align mirror. Okay, align mirror is this will move to the right side of. Okay, move it to the right so that it will be in the mirror of the right side. So if you move, if you use the align top, then it will be on top of the page, bottom of the page. So we want this to be aligned in the middle. So if we move to the left, right, it will be in the middle. So once you move it, move it to the right side, and then apply align middle. Okay, on page one, click the end of time to say goodbye here. Heading and insert the picture. All right, we want to insert the picture. That picture is retirement. So you go to insert tab, picture arrows, picture arrow, and uh, not this one, picture arrow. We have uh, we have this picture in, in the PC. So click device and mine is in C drive. This one of three student data files folder, module four. And this is review. And the file name is retirement. So this one, retirement, and enter. So we just added, inserted a picture. And then from this one, okay, change alt text. Okay, so alt text is this. Uh, click right button, okay, the right button of your mouse. Then here is alt, edit alt text. And then here type. Okay, uh, the word, the word, happy retirement, written in calligraphy, graphic, okay, and then rotate, so we want to rotate it horizontally, so here is a, uh, uh, rotation. Okay, click outside and click it again in the format tab. Format tab. Uh -oh. Here is a rotation button. So click this rotation arrow. We want to rotate 90%, I'm sorry, 90 degrees to the right. So this guy. So look at this. So we just, we just rotate it 90 degrees to the right. Okay, let's close this alt text. Okay, and then change the uh, the size of this picture. So height is 2.5, 2.5, and the width I should default width. So leave it as a default width. And then text wrapping is tight. So wrap text is tight. And then so we can move this one around. So position in the paragraph below, time to say goodbye. Heading with two lines, text wrap above. So here it is. Here it is. So two lines are above this picture. And then fix the position of the page. So click the wrap text and then fix position on page. And then remove the background. Okay, background, how do you remove the background? We've got to move this one a little bit up. How do you remove the background? It's in the to uh, format tab on the left side, remove background. Okay, we can, you know, this purple color means the background is removed. But look at this, the retirement, the first letter, we have a little bit more left. So we need to uh, mark area to keep. So we want to keep the left side of this letter R. So click this left side. So we have, you know, R here. And then after the letter T, we need to mark this one so that we can keep this area. So all the purple area will be removed. So we want to keep the change. So can you see there's no background at all? All right. 
And then we add just a picture, just like this, 439. So let's see, this one is under one, two, three lines below. Three lines below this one, right? Like this. Yeah, something like this. Okay, this is good. Okay, next step is go on page two, click the end of the paragraph below. Inga Peterson, where is it? At the end of this Inga Peterson honored heading. At the end of the paragraph below this one. And there here. At the end of the paragraph here. And then we want to insert. Okay, let me open up, let me display this one. Okay, what is okay, trophy? So we wanna insert a trophy icon from the celebration category, traffic icon. So in this case, we're supposed to have a uh, you know icon here for uh, for you know icon button here, but mine is 2016 and I didn't update this word, so I don't have this. So if you have icon you know icon a uh, button here, then please try try these steps 28 and 29. But since I don't have it, instead of inserting icon, I will insert a picture. Insert the picture of trophy. So go to the ins uh, pictures arrow. I want to search online. Okay, so from here I will type trophy. And then this will give us some pictures of trophy. Okay, so why don't we select any one of these files? So I will select this one and then insert. Okay, so if we have an icon, icon button, then Try that one, try, don't insert, just follow this instruction. Okay, and then change the height and width to 1.2. So change the height, 1.2 inches, and the bottom is also 1.2. But as you type it, you know, as you type it, this one changes, right? So in that case, what we can do is, uh, we can uh, click the size dialog box launcher and then lock uh, deselect deselect lock aspect ratio so that we can change this one to 1.2 all right okay and then apply the color so the color so in the format tab okay the color let's try this one color and then we want to just select okay this one is orange as accent color too orange accent color too where is orange accent color too. We, we don't have this one because this is not an icon and dark oh sorry this one accent 5 dark 1 accent 5 dark 1 so why don't i start choose this one i'll just choose this one dark one this is temperature okay just choose this one and then okay add glow this effect so actually we don't have that effect here you know background contrast so let's uh, let's just skip these two steps because we don't have it and then and then move it to the okay, i forgot this drag the icon to the center in the white space below the text box the text box is this is text box, right? So why don't we change it, this one into, okay, let's make it you know, tight as well, tight, and then move it to the left, like this. Okay, let me hide the symbol, just like this. Okay, now balance the column at the page two, change them, change the theme color to blue one. Okay, we want to change the theme color of this. So it should be in the design tab. Design tab and theme color is this one, theme color. So theme color is, these are the predefined colors. So, you know, the title color, 
you know, some background color, you know, the border color, all those things are predefined. So as you move this, can you see the color changes? So we will select blue one. Okay. And 33. Insert a simple box. Okay, box outline. Box outline. Okay, the box outline is this. The document. For the entire document. So the box outline is in, okay, in the design tab. In the design tab, the button on the right. Page borders. Click the page borders. Then this page border, and we want to put a line for in you know, a box type line and the color is blue okay uh, default style so default style so this line and the width is default the width is default but color is blue blue accent 2 lighter 60 so this is blue accent 2 accent 2 is what which one is it this one and then 60 percent is this so blue accent 2 lighter 60 60% and then click OK so as you see this this whole document has a box outline so you can click this page borders or you can go to home tab and then here is a border the border arrow borders and shading then here is the uh, page border so click the page border tab then this is the same thing so you can go either through this or you can go through this design tab. Okay. Page borders. Uh, right. Next step. Make uh, any uh, additional adjustment necessary to ensure. Okay, let's go to figure uh, 439. Okay, we will probably need to adjust the position of the text box, page 1 blah 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 right so let's go to this figure and then check uh, one by one so we have uh, here's title okay something like this and then here are two pictures all right it's good page two this one this one and then all right, so this one is should be a little bit go a little bit above a little bit upper okay, upper go upper a little bit all right that's it huh that's it good the next step okay in the second second line to the last line of page two okay replace this name to your first and the last name so this one carry carry bang so select this carry bang and re replace this with your name with your name all right and then we are done so save it save button or control s and then we want to save this file as a PDF, PDF file, the PDF. So you can save this Word file to a PDF so that you can distribute the PDF to a you know, third person. So click the file tab. You can, we can try this, export. Select export, then here is create. So by create, creating button, this will convert to PDF file. So the PDF file is this. WD4 employees, okay, WD4 employees, and then automatically the file extension name PDF will be included. So already we have .pdf, so we're going to have to put, uh, click publish, then we're going to have PDF file, and then the PDF file will open automatically like this. So this should be same as the Word file. Okay, Sean Pack. All right. Okay, that's it. And number 36, you don't have to do this. Uh, this one, actually, you don't need it. Okay, let me close this Word file. So file tab, close. Uh, I should have closed only, uh, only, uh, only the file. But uh, that's okay. Let me open a blank. Okay, from this, let me open. Okay, open up. Uh, the PDF file. Let's see what happens. PDF. So go to the C drive 103 homework. Okay, my PDF is this one. Employees.pdf. So once you open it, then uh, the Word will convert the PDF into Word format. Word format. So let's see what happens. 
Okay, it's now converting. Okay, now it will convert to a Word document. Okay. Then it converted actually PDF from PDF to. Oh, wait a second. Why don't I have this? Something's something is not right. But that's okay. Actually, you know, it show it, it should show PD uh, uh, the the contents in PDF in this Word document. But the format is different, a little bit different. So you need to uh, you need you know adjust. So that's what it says. All right. So we are done. So you can submit this PDF file and the Word file.